Hey everybody, it's Russ from Kilt and Cork. And I am really excited to be out where I am tonight. We are at Outbreak Brewing Company here in Placerville, California. And it's appropriate that we're here because it is kind of a zombie theme, which you'll see here in a second, but it is Halloween. So I'm really excited to talk to our host, uh, Tim, and talk a little bit about um, just kind of what's going on here, the kind of beers. Uh, so we'll get to that here in a second. First off, I do have to say thank you to our sponsor, uh, which is Breaker Glass here in Placerville. They've been gracious and very cool to help us do what we're doing and sponsoring these shows. So thank you very much to Breaker Glass. If you guys need a glass repair or replace, make sure you get out to Breaker Glass in Placerville and they'll take care of you. So thank you very much for that, you guys. Um, so anyways, we're here in Placerville and I'm about to welcome my special guest who's actually the host, Tim Daniel. Uh, and it looks like he's got something for me to drink. How you doing, Russ? Pretty good, how you doing, Tim? Very good. Thank you very much. For, uh, you. Thank you very much. Thanks yeah. for uh, for being on the show and for uh, talking about um, talking about this beer. So, what is this that I'm drinking here? So, what we got here is our Casanova. We uh, it's kind of our try at a hazy, but still kind of real nice West Coast forward. Wow, that's aromatic really good. and hops, but real light. It's sort of a wheat IPA, wheat forward, really nice, easy drinking, really pretty beer. But not so pretty. That's why we call it Casanova because it's trying to tell everybody how pretty it is. It is maybe. really pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> this is a pretty beer. And this is a pretty guy, man. I mean, this you look great. You guys, if you notice, he's got his kilt on. Cheers very much. Thanks for Cheers. uh for and and uh if you can see, um, we're gonna go ahead and have everyone behind us uh let them know that we're live. So hey guys, if you're in the place, say hi to everybody out there in TV land. They're all watching cool. Got a really cool live audience out here, and there's some guys wearing kilts. Uh, which we really appreciate. You so have kilt folk. there's some kilt folk. I like that <laughs> kilt folk. <laughs> That's a cool term. We're gonna have to remember that. So Tim, tell us a little bit about Outbreak. Uh, so uh, a few of us guys started home brewing several years ago, and just kind of through home brewing, having a good time together, and just building big relationships, with community, family, whatever. Mm -hmm. We decided to go for it and start a brewery, and not just a brewery, but a place where we could have you know, just a community gathering where we're brewing our beer, having fun. And so that's kind of what Outbreak's all about. It's the, the Outbreak side of it, as far as the name and whatnot, is just really a play on words where we can have fun with the marketing side to draw people in. You know, we want to kind of play with the post-apocalyptic, draw you in, have a good time, and it's like party That's of it. the apocalypse. Exactly. You know? What the so, hell? Screw it. Right, yeah. It's, it's happened, so might as well enjoy it. I like that. That's a really cool theme. Yeah. So there's some cool zombie stuff in here if you make it in here. And uh, hopefully you guys can uh, hear us well. Uh, if you have any issues, let us know. But um, we are live from Outbreak Brewing here in Placerville. Again, I'm Russ Reyes from Kilt and Cork. And joining me is Tim Daniel from Outbreak Brewing. So tell me a little bit about the staff here. How many uh, of you work or brew here? Because uh, I know you, there's Dustin as well who's running around. Right. Yeah. Dustin's over here somewhere. He's in his fedora hanging yep. out doing his thing he always is um so there's dustin and i there's uh we're the brewers and owners right there's uh mikey over here he handles our music and food coordinating we've got our servers in the back which is uh will sherry <clears throat> nicole alicia and amy shout out to all them and shout out for helping and uh just kind of like put together the family of people hanging out doing their thing you know just building the family you know right right that's very cool. So if you're just joining us, uh, if you have any questions about brewing, uh, if you have any questions about Outbreak Brewing Company, um, feel free to send them in and we'll uh, see if we can get to them. Sure. So with Halloween coming up and you guys do have this really cool theme, I thought I'd uh, play a little game with you and find out what your personal favorite zombie movie is. Uh, well... I don't know about a movie, but we've really kind of stuck our stuck our guts to uh, the the Walking Dead. You the know? Walking Dead. So it's just been a cool series. It really fits in with our post apocalyptic right. fun theme, you know, our thing that we're doing here. You know, I like it. I like it. Uh -huh. So I kind of um, have a couple of things here, and we'll just kind of let our audience out there um, play along. For sure. The top ten movies on IMDb as far as zombie movies uh, were. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but. Uh, Day of the Dead. These are in no particular order. We've Day got of Day Dead. of the Dead. 
That is a good one. And and that's a George Romero film, which is the sequel to, of course, yeah, Night of the Living Dead. Very cool. And then we've also got um, World War Z. I don't know. Were you a fan of that one, the Brad yeah, it Pitt? Was, it was fun. You know, there's a kind of cool concept where the zombies are kind of just as fast as everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. When I, I don't like that. I don't like those kind of zombies that are that fast. And then we've got um, – this is called uh, – Brain Dead, but it was that's the original title, but it was also called Dead Alive. And the cool thing about this is it was a Peter Jackson film. Really? I've never seen it. So but it's it's in the top four. So we'll have our audience play along out there. Uh, you'll have to tell me which one of these is the top movie, which is the top zombie movie. Night of Living Dead, Brain Dead, World War Z, or Day of the Dead. So uh, you guys go ahead and think about that. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about beer because that's why we're here. That is so tell us a little bit about some of the newer brews that you've, you've uh, been doing here. Um, so something we just recently did was a collaboration with Totem Coffee and Placerville Public House. And what it's called is Waking the Dead. And the idea behind it was that it's a blend of coffee and imperial stout that's sort of subtle, subtle uh, chocolate and uh, coffee aromas in there blended with Totem's coffee. Oh, and that's very cool. That blend together really just kind of made this really beautiful, nice, dark, dark beer. I actually have it right here, too. I'll reach over and grab it. But nah, this is it. great. So just so, a really beautiful Did you coffee. say Totem, they, they roast their own coffee there? Right. So, yeah, what they do is uh, on this one, they took a, a blend and they cold brewed it. And we took that cold brew and actually blended it back into the tank. Wow, that's great. So you can smell hints of chocolate, a little bit of toffee. Um, wow, this, nice this smells coffee. absolutely delicious, and it uh, it looks dark as dark can be. And so this uh, is a porter or a stout? It's, it's a stout. A stout. Okay. Uh, it's a Russian imperial stout, but at 11.4, yeah. 11.4. 11.4. I'm not driving after I drink this. <laughs> wow, that is delicious. That is amazing. Thank you. I love that. Yeah, it's a really, really pretty. So, beer. what other uh, what other things have you been uh, cooking up in the, the brewery back there? Oh, uh, let's see. Actually, we have Sabotage IPA that's a award winning gold medal IPA that we have brewed up right now. It's okay. actually wrapping up in the tank. Now, you guys put that on eat. social media when you were doing that. I saw a right, lot out yeah. there. Just a shout out to that. You should follow Outbreak Brewing Company on social media on Facebook and Instagram because right. they're always putting some cool stuff out about what they're doing so you can kind of see what's happening yeah we do have a lot of stuff going on all the time you do. a lot of events a lot of music typically thursday yeah. through sunday for the most part we have music and tonight so like tonight is thursday thursday night open mic night and we get a lot of people in here a lot of really really solid musicians coming in so that'll kick off here pretty soon actually very cool yeah as soon as we're uh, wrapping up here with our broadcast they're going to start the uh the uh, open mic night. So if you're any kind of talent, uh, make sure you come out here and, and uh, show us what you got. That's right. This is, this is what I got. This is it. I can talk and drink. <laughs> so are you a musician? I am. Yeah, I am a musician. I play piano and guitar, and uh, I'll get on here and fool around with them here and there and have fun okay. with them. Yeah. That's multi-talented. Yeah, you got to be. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. Making and, beer. <laughs> I mean, it, it, this is an art form in itself. I mean, I, I, I'm no stranger to brewing process, and you can really uh, create some amazing profiles at what you guys are doing here. Yeah, you know, we just wrapped up um, a batch that uh, we want to take and go ahead do. We're going to do a peach puree, mm -hmm. a puree of our own, and that will get blended with, uh, you know, a few different things inside a petite Syrah barrel. So there's going to be a little viral aging and yep. things going on there too. Very cool. So um, how long have you, how long has Outbreak been here in this location? So Outbreak, Dustin and I acquired the building back in 2015, actually. And it took us just about a year to get permits, plan, planning commission, everything in order. And uh, we opened up, we're just doing tastings and fills of the growlers out in the loading dock in uh, mid-2016. Okay. And then from there, built the rest of the building out on our own. I mean, just about every pipe and wire and concrete and everything in this building, we've rebuilt ourselves wow. with help from friends, obviously. Right. But, you know, we didn't tackle on really big loans or anything like that. That was always our thing was just build this with what we got and what we have and make it something that everybody can be a part of. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, so this building, it's... It's not a historic building, but it's been here for a while. Yeah, it's uh, built in 1960. Okay. So kind of a funny piece of trivia is that the same 
year, almost within a couple months, the first uh, Northern California brewery, which was Zeiss Brewing right up the street, was torn down when this one was being built. Really? So we kind of like to say, you know, the it's brewery like never it, went away. It didn't. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's that whole, uh, they were dead and now they're back again. It was, it's like it's the true. undead. Yeah, That's cool. Undead I brewery. like that. Undead, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so they're located here on Main Street in Placerville, a little bit uh, down past the uh, Druid statue. Right, yeah. We uh, can kind of consider thing. it Midtown, Midtown Main Street, yeah. But it is in Main Street, Placerville. And, yes. you know, people, it's it's a great uh, location to come up. And you can actually walk the whole from Main Street to here if you wanted to. It's it like that far. It takes about seven to eight minutes, depending on your stride, to get from one end to the other. Yeah. And you, you got a pretty big stride. So, so maybe sure nine minutes. Like, yeah. <laughs> <Some people. laughs> That's cool. So I see that some people out there are talking about our uh, movie. Someone's guessed that Night of the Living Dead. Um, and I do want to shout out to Stacy. Thank you for watching. I want to thank uh, Mike and Beverly for watching. Casey King, you know Casey. Yeah. Uh, Casey's watching. And uh, there's a few other friends. Thank you very much, you guys. So um, if someone gets this question right, what could they come up here and get a beer, you think? Sure, yeah. You get the question right. Wow. Take care of your first pint. There you go, your first pint. So if you get the question right, make sure you answer now. You're going to come up and get your first pint, which uh, hopefully it'll be Casanova, cool. uh, unless it's gone, because this is this is an amazing beer. We got plenty of it. Okay, good. <laughs> or or the uh, totem. Yep, um, and then you dead. said sabotage. I'll have to make sure I taste sabotage before I take off. Yep, that sabotage like really will be one. out officially next week. You know, we can pull a couple samples, but it's, it'll be ready next week. You hear that, guys? Next uh, week, you got to come out and try the sabotage. Right, so for Halloween? Killer beer, yeah. It should be ready for Halloween on the okay. Wednesday. So. so tell us, are you doing anything special for Halloween here? No, not officially. You know, okay. a lot of times downtown here, we have a lot of kids walking through mm -hmm. and parents walking through with them. So they'll stop in. Uh, this time of the year, we'll do a spiced... Uh, Hot apple cider. Oh, nice! Which is sort of a fun little thing that we have, mm -hmm. you know, pre-set up for them, and you know, just fun for the kids too. So they'll right. walk down the street and grab some candy, and parents come in, do whatever they're going to do. Right. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine they're going to they're gonna be drinking some beer. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be drinking some great beer. Well, you know, I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me tonight and talk about the brewery. And if you're out there watching, this is a great place to come and hang out. Now, let me just ask you, um, if uh, if people want to eat, uh, how do you guys uh, do that here? Okay, so, so we have a few options. Um, one, tonight we have Stave's Pizza. It's Houston here, and he's, he's here quite a bit. And uh, he just does a wood-fired pizza that's a converted horse trailer. Um, other cool. nights we do um, other food trucks that are coming in. Our Halloween party that's going to be this Saturday will be Rudy's Hideaway, which is a lobster truck, yep. and then also Shorty's Donuts. Um, wow. uh, and then also, because we're a manufacturing brewery, you're always welcome to bring your own food in, you know, and picnic inside the building. So, really? Yep. That's totally amazing. Okay that. See, hear that? You guys getting your own food? Uh, what if you're not a beer drinker? Can you bring a bottle of wine if it's local or something like that? We, or? Can't, we can't actually sell or cork any wine, but as people picnic, you know, they're able to, you know, bring in their, their wine. Thing. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. I, I mean, uh, and I ask that because we have done that here. It's been a great place. I've joined some friends, uh, some friends back here and uh, just bought the food and drank the beer and, and just had an amazing time. So you guys really have a great setup here. Uh, very friendly, very comfortable. I really encourage you to make the trip up here to Placerville and then hang out with these guys for a while. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say a couple more things here. I got a couple announcements I got to talk about and then we'll come right back to you. So just kind of hang out right here. Yeah, just hang right here. Um, mostly what I want to tell you guys is the next three shows uh, are pretty much going to be it for November. Um, our next show is going to be. Um, I'm going to put it out there to you and you and everyone else. So our next show is open that date, November 1st. We'd love to come up to your location, whether you're a brewery or a winery. Uh, so uh, contact us if you're interested in having us host your show. Um, talk about what you do. The next show on the 8th of uh, November, we're going to be at Via Romano, which is right up in Camino, um, which you guys are really going to like that one. Uh, they're going to show us how to make some pizza and pair it with their wine. So I'm really excited about that. And then the November 15th show, we're going to be right back here in Placerville at the Heart Lounge, which is down on uh, Main Street yeah, next to Cary. Very fun. Yeah. And you're going to meet two great people um, that are going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what they're doing and uh, kind of show off the Heart Lounge. So that's our next three shows. And, of course, 
Uh, Thanksgiving is on a Thursday. We are going to be uh, eating and drinking, so we're going to be doing any live broadcast on Thanksgiving. So just so you guys know that, make sure you save the date. Um, also, I want to shout out to um, Jessica, who tomorrow you're going to see us. We're going to go down to your house in Natomas, and we're going to share some of this amazing beer that, that we're drinking right now and kind of turn you on to this whole area that's up here. Uh, all you people in Sacramento, you should come up the hill and visit us, visit the breweries, visit the wineries, stay in Placerville, stay up in Camino. It's great. So, uh, Jessica, we're going to be at your house tomorrow. We're really excited about it and uh, excited to meet your friends. And our winner of the contest that we had here uh, of the top zombie movie that is on IMDb, this is the answer. Night of the Living Dead. Go living figure. Dead. Yeah, go it figure. Makes it makes sense. The original. So, uh, Stacy Carpenter, guess what? You're going to get to come up here. And I know you've got some growlers to fill. I see that. She's going to bring them up here and get them filled. Bring your growlers up here, get them filled. And uh, Tim's going to buy you your first pint. I don't know if he's going to buy your husband a pint, but he'll get you a pint. <laughs> so, make sure you come up and uh, say hi to these guys. Um, you know, if there's any questions, again, we've got a couple of minutes left. Make sure you. Uh, send them out here oh yeah hey we got one how many ipas do you make uh right now we're doing three different ipas we have our millhouse double ipa our casanova hazy ipa and our sabotage single ipa that'll be coming out here pretty quick um also we do have a couple seasonal double ipas that come through based on our hop bill and what we can get a hold of as hops but yeah so you can i kind of always expect three to five ipas so three to five ipas and i'm gonna kind of add to that a, a little caveat if you wish. I am not a huge IPA, um, Sierra Nevada style beer drinker and everyone that knows me kind of knows I, I really like Belgian beers, I like English beers. Um, I love porters and stouts. But this right here, this Casanova, I would drink this all day. It's and this is an IPA. This is, a, this is, a, um, it's unfiltered. unfiltered. It's, it's tasty. It's great mouthfeel. It's, uh, it seems like it has a kick. I mean, what's the what's the? Uh, um, we're one? just shy of seven percent. Okay, yeah. just shy. That's yeah. that's pretty good. That's a little bit more than uh, most that you're gonna pick up in the grocery store. So, yeah. um, this Casanova, I'm a huge fan of. Um, make sure you get up here and, and uh, have Tim pull you a pint and and taste it because it is delicious. Actually, uh, talking about that real quick, um, it looks like you've got different serving glasses uh, right so this one in particular i just gave us because it's really pretty because it we're, is pretty we're making and it's a beautiful beer <laughs> <laughs> but actually this beer usually gets served in pint glasses we have uh our uh our belgian 13 ounce glasses and then we also have our pint glasses our pint glasses are basically the ones shaped like a beer can like a beer can you it's know so but cool. it's a yeah. 16 ounce beer can basically yeah. yeah that's pretty cool pretty cool it is very cool so you know they've got cool glassware too so you guys got to come up here and see these guys in plasticville so really, that's about it, you guys. We're going to wrap up our show. I have to really encourage you to follow Outbreak Brewing Company on Instagram and, and Facebook. Yep. Make sure you follow Kilt and Cork. We're also on uh, Facebook. We're also on Instagram. And it's really cool if you guys do that and share these, uh, share these broadcasts so that some people out there um, can really learn about these new destinations and these new places that we have. You know, we're hoarding all this awesome stuff up here in the foothills and yeah, I, we, there's some really cool places out there but this it really is, is we do have it's, a really it's cool awesome. thing going on up it's, here. it's it's awesome and just a shout out to the uh ale trail that's here in el dorado county yep. there's it's 10 breweries going. now yep and uh these guys are on the ale trail you can get that information uh, online at visit el dorado but uh really that's about it and tim I, I really appreciate your time i really appreciate you taking the time to come in and also you know for tomorrow helping out with that party uh these guys are these guys are top notch. Uh, they're all right, and I, I really, um, I really enjoy this place. So thank you so much. Anytime. Cheers. Cheers. So guys, that's all we got for you this week. Uh, hopefully, you've got something to cheers us with right now, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday at an undisclosed location where we're going to be. We don't know, but uh, we'll see you then. Cheers. Have a good night. <laughs>